Hello friends, hope you are doing well. Previous video discussed about database related CLI commands. In case you missed that discussion, please review and also add that video link in the, in the description. Uh, today in this video, we will learn about the login related CLI commands. First command is request command, which will help you to see what kind of requests generated from request. So generally like uh, once we will refresh this page it means it going one request to the backend side and backend will be a one response. So based on that you can see here the view part. So let's first start like how it's working and how we will debug in detail. So then after we have to use one command dash dash log dash request. Once we will active this service. Here you can see this is the information related logs by default generating. So I am moving to the browser and refreshing the page. The same thing will some request will generate it from front end side and back end side will have this request. And you can see this is a debug part. This is the request like you can see this four request generated and let's see like what kind of response generated from backend side so we will use the same command but we will replace the request to response the command is dash dash log dash response press enter key and it will active the Odoo service move to the browser refresh the page and here you can see this is the response like it's a list of dictionary and uh, strings here you can see all the informations you can see the response how response is generated so based on that you can also debug like what if you stock anywhere and want to debug response from backend side you can use that command the third command is a uh, most useful command in case user want to debug sql queries generated by odoo orm you can use this command so let's stop the service first and then after we will active sql service as dash dash log dash sql so once Active the Odoo service, move to the browser, refresh the page, and here you go. You can see a list of queries you can see here, and based on that, it will generate one response and give to the browser, and it will display like this. So, here also, if you want to debug anything related SQL queries, you can use this command and one more command is useful like the low uh, level of logs supported by Odoo and it will give you a list of logging level to debug anything from backend side so here you have to, first I will stop the service python Odoo desk bin then I will start this this log this level and by default if you don't know like how to generate uh, the different type kind of levels so here we have a lot of options right now i am giving a wrong value so it give me error and uh, it's supposed to give me like a, what kind of data i have to use for this command so here you can see info debug rpc warn test critical debug underscore sql error debug debug rpc answer not set so like all we can use one by one we are not using multiple but you can use at least one command so here i am using debug active the web service you can see still it's started debugging with info info log refresh the page here you can see you can also try from your side and in case you have any doubt just comment it here and the first 
uh, and the last command is log command like uh, those logs if you want to store these logs into any specific file Odoo allows to store in particular file so here let's stop we will use this command like python or do dash bin then after dash dash log file and file name dot log log is an extension you can give any name and if this file is not exist on specific directory it will automatically created by odoo and started feeding data like feeding all the logs into this log file so once we will I'm, i will press the enter key it won't be now it won't be showing here all the logs but uh, it will store in in this file so let's say i'm moving to the browser and refresh the page it won't be load here because all data will load in this file so if you want to track like how to track this log file you can see here like 10 minus f for do log dot log and press enter key here you can see once i will refresh this page you can see all log files storing into file and we are retrieving the information please practice this commands and in case having any doubts please comment here hope this video gave you fruitful information and see you in next video please don't forget to subscribe and share this video